Set it upfield towards Highmore. Highmore the announcement the North East AFL competition, or NEFL, would merge with the VFL has left the Canberra Demons blindsided. The NEFL 2020 season didn't go ahead due to the pandemic, sparking speculation of the second tier's future with the AFL. The AFL said in a statement that clubs currently involved in NEFL could field a standalone team, align with an existing second tier club, or spread their AFL listed players across multiple second tier clubs. The biggest concern involves the future of the five standalone teams that aren't tied with the AFL clubs that field sides. Of major concern is the Canberra Demons, who according to the Canberra Times weren't notified of the merger prior to the public announcement and the AFL statement didn't mention them. I think the issue with the announcement today at a local level is that there's more questions and answers and you know um, that's never good when you're trying to attract players to the Canberra region um, you know a, a big a big draw card for bringing people players to the region to play footy and uh, a for Canberra football is you know um, there's a pathway to Canberra Demons uh, NEFL there's a pathway potentially to AFL it's a second tier competition um, and not knowing whether the Canberra Demons are participating next year in that competition um, will definitely have an impact locally. The Demons face either competing with tougher VFL teams or being forced to merge with another second tier side. I think the Canberra Demons um, have been developing and growing as a second tier football club for quite a few years now to a point where they're competing with the likes of um, Sydney Swans Reserves, GWS Giants Reserves, um, in the past NT Thunder, those, those sort of teams who, um, you know, I reckon if you went five years ago, they weren't competing. Um, and it's one of those things I reckon if you build it and they will come. If the Demons did fold, players wanting a national career in footy would have to leave the capital. That could create a knockdown effect on the territory's competitions and damage the chances of Canberra ever hosting an AFL club in its own right. Like if you go back before uh, NEFL, um, I wouldn't be surprised if the same amount of kids from Canberra were getting drafted uh, before any teams were playing in the NEFL from Canberra. Um, also if you go back pre-NEFL, the competition was at its strongest. Um, we had marquee players coming from um, AFL into the competition, we had um, uh, good crowds, um, the competition was uh, you know, fr uh, thriving in, in Canberra. Um, so I think you could build an argument for either way, like maybe you know, it's a good thing for footy, but I think you could build an argument to suggest, hey, it, it may very well make local competition stronger and maybe we could bring back the glory days. The AFL says 2021 will be a year of transition that also includes a revamp of the NAB Cup from an under-16 and 18s competition for younger players to an under-17s and 19s with the draft age still remaining at 18. In Canberra, Daniel Pizarro, 6 News.